bundle, it may be back. Verizon uh, inking a deal to offer Netflix and Max for $10 per month. The reports say Paramount is in talks with Apple now about a bundle as well. Joining us, Tom Rogers, uh, Orbit Gaming and Executive uh, Chairman, or I should say Entertainment Executive Chairman. He's also the former NBC cable president, CNBC contributor, a longtime friend of the program. Tom, good morning to you. We've been talking about the un we've been talking about unbundling forever. We talked about the prospect of rebundling, but rebundling is now here. The question is, what does it actually do to the margin of all of these of these businesses? Well, this is a very different kind of bundling than the, the cable bundle. The cable bundle was uh, more and more channels. You pay for 300 channels. You probably watch seven. And it was uh, the consumer having to uh, deal with higher and higher bills. Uh, this kind of bundling is all about giving the uh, consumer discounts. Um, and uh, with that discounting, uh, you can still take an individual bundle if you want, break it down, which you couldn't do with the cable bundle, uh, but very different impact on the consumer. In terms of margin, um, unclear. I think this is more about tapping upside and limiting downside. Uh, but all these streamers need to drive scale particularly scale on their advertising tiers, including Netflix. Um, uh, this is uh, a way of uh, creating some kind of uh, synthetic merger, so to speak, between some of these players without actual M&A having to go on, which uh, would involve some doubling down on decline for a lot of these uh, uh, legacy media companies. Uh, so I think there's going to be a lot of focus on this to see if they can actually uh, use these uh, bundling vehicles as a way to drive scale. Um, That's and a very, by the way, well, you just said the idea of a synthetic merger, and in the, in, especially at a time when regulators don't really want to, to put these things together. But you, can you really get this sort of synergies or scale in this that way? Well, you can't, you can't really get cost synergies, uh, but uh, you, you can get some of the effect of what uh, the growth aspect of mergers might be by putting uh, bundles of services together. We're really talking about a bundle of different kinds of bundles. Uh, you were just talking about charter. The Disney charter deal uh, emerged with one kind of bundle where you take the cable bundle and actually put Disney Plus into it. Um, you have uh, the Verizon bundle, which uh, we just talked about. Actually, there's an even better Verizon bundle. Uh, there's the Netflix uh, Max $10 bundle, uh, but they also are going to be now offering a $20 bundle for five services, which is Netflix, Max, Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. And you can imagine uh, the third kind of bundle, which is two streamers getting together as opposed to a third party marketing it like Verizon. Um, I don't know what the pricing on the Apple Paramount uh, bundle will be with two streamers coming together, but if that's in the area of $10, you can imagine a $30 consumer bill getting seven streaming services, and you're really beginning to see some, some discounting here. You're going to have to tolerate ads, uh, not, uh, not my cup of tea, but uh, obviously uh, a way to get pricing down here. Tom, is there a one... Uh, big gorilla is Netflix the one that's going to take if, if you bundle with Netflix they get the bulk of the of the money or if you do it with ESPN they get the bulk of the money like how how do these negotiations work because I'm trying to figure out how this is different also than Hulu which started out as three different companies coming together and trying to to, to make something work and that that didn't go necessarily as well as planned and I know that was the you know the the partnership that fell apart when when Disney made some of those swaps to things, too. It's just uh, trying to figure right. out how this works is, is a little complex. Uh, well, you're absolutely right. Uh, there's there's the, the fourth kind of bundle, which is the Disney bundle, internal bundle of uh, the three uh, Disney services. We're figuring out those things within one company is a lot easier. Uh, I don't think we know who's subsidizing what here, say, in the Verizon uh, Netflix Max bundle. Um, I, I think uh, Netflix, uh, being the obvious winner with an awful lot of scale already, um, may have uh, the, the least uh, to contribute in terms of subsidy. And Verizon, which has uh, got some major issues with its mobile phone business, and Max, which obviously uh, lost uh, subscribers last quarter and has a lot of uh, 
growth focus on its uh, on its streaming service that it needs to get going on uh, may be contributing the most. Uh, but uh, we really don't know uh, how those negotiations are uh, turning out in terms of who's contributing what. Hey, Tom, I don't know if you were listening earlier when um, Joe mentioned the issue of uh, what the CFO from Charter had to say, and you saw the, the price of uh, cable more broadly come down. What's, what's your thought just about that piece of it? Uh, well, um, I, a broadband distribution for cable has hit a, a bit of a wall in terms of the, the number of homes there are to penetrate with broadband uh, beyond new home construction. Uh, so uh, it's beginning to be more challenged. Uh, they've had some success with being the low-cost provider of mobile phone service and bundling that in with broadband and using that as a growth vehicle. Uh, obviously, pricing uh, broadband is going to be the tool that they have to work with in terms of increasing revenue per subscriber. But that's where streaming service bundling, I think, is going to become very important for the cable operator like Charter. They've kind of uh, become uh, indifferent on their video business as the cable bundle uh, just got too expensive for them in terms of programming costs that they had to absorb and the margin on the video side of the business disappearing. Uh, but if they can shift that to the broadband side where they can come up with a really interesting way to package uh, streaming services with broadband, there may be a way to reignite that. Charter and Comcast together have a venture called Zumo, which is a way to solve beyond pricing the other major issue facing consumers in streaming, which is nobody knows what's on where. It's impossible to figure out uh, where, where your program is you want to watch. They've come up with a an interface that uh, kind of uh, boils the ocean, takes everything out there from Netflix and all the other streaming services and, and, and YouTube and the rest of the world and gives you an easy way to search for anything. And that package with broadband with discounting of services may be a way for them to get uh, back a competitive edge when it comes to broadband subs.